Hi, this is Dina for Split Coast Stampers. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use watercolor powders with your stamps. For this technique, you'll need a stamp positioner, and I've got my Misty set up with some watercolor paper and a background stamp. I'm going to be using brush-o powders for the sample, and mine are repackaged, and I'll have more information on these bottles on my blog. I'm going to start with my lightest color, which is the lemon yellow, and I just want that color at the top of my panel so I can create a gradient going down. And I'm just starting with a light sprinkle. You don't need much, and you can always add more. I have water in this spray bottle. And I'm just spritzing my stamp where I want to activate those powders. You'll notice that the water tends to bead in some areas, and you can rub those areas with your finger for better coverage there. And in each area, you can repeat your stamping to make sure that you're getting the coverage that you want. I'm moving on to the lime green, and I want that in the middle of my card, so I just sprinkle the powder where I want it, and then mist the stamp in the same area. You'll want to hold this stamp down to the paper for a few seconds to allow the water to activate the powder, and also to allow the colors to blend along the lines of the stamp. My last color here is turquoise, which is one of my favorites. And again, I'm following the same steps, adding the powder, misting the stamp, and then pressing that wet stamp onto the panel to activate the powders. Now, as you add powder, there will be places that it falls that aren't touched by the stamp. So you wanna be sure to leave those bits of powder alone and you will need to let the panel air dry completely before you move on. Don't try to heat set it or you'll blow the loose powders to parts unknown. When your panel is fully dry, you can use a static cloth or a Swiffer duster like this one to remove it. And you'll wanna use that in your stamp positioner too. And then go ahead and wipe it out with a wet wipe to make sure that you've gotten all the powder that you can't see. So here is that finished card. And I didn't wanna cover up my background too much, so I just added a simple sentiment and a few sequins. I wanted to do one outline image as well. And to help with the placement of the colors, I'm just gonna stamp the image first in a very light color. You can use a dye or a hybrid ink for this. Just be sure to use a color that you can cover up with the colors that you're going to stamp with. For the flowers, I'm using a Nuance powder. These are made by Magenta and they have some really fun colors. This is their hot pink. And I'm just sprinkling it where I want it. And I love doing this with clear stamps because you can see right where you're stamping and what the powder's doing. For the green, I wanted something more muted, so I'm using green bister, and those colors are a lot more earthy. I have a few areas that are actually open on this stamp that I wanted to fill in just lightly with the color that's on there. So I'm using a brush to just pull color from the outlines into those areas while the image is still wet. And again, you'll want to let the panel dry completely before moving on. On my finished card, I kept my stamp in place in my stamp positioner, and I clear embossed the image to highlight the details. And so that's how I use watercolor powders with my stamps, and I hope you'll give it a try, and I thank you so much for watching.